After spending a few days in Tokyo, we head to our next destinations, Osaka and Hiroshima. Oh my gosh. Hey. So good. How much was that, Sean? 800 yen. 800. This was 800 yen. The Shinkansen to Osaka from Tokyo only took about two and a half to three hours. Not long at all. Since we took the later Shinkansen, all we did the first day in Osaka was check in and grab snacks and drinks for the Airbnb. The next day, we decided to get an early start and head out to Osaka Castle. The Nishinomaru Garden that surrounds the castle is one of Osaka's most popular hanami spots during cherry blossom season. You could easily spend hours roaming around the park. The castle has an abundance of cherry and plum blossoms, making the area beautiful in both spring and fall. Osaka Castle was built in the 1580s as a display of power by the samurai warlord and ruler of Japan. After he reached his goal of unifying Japan. However, the castle had been rebuilt many times due to various conflicts and fires since then. The current castle was rebuilt in 1931, and inside is a museum with information about the history of the castle. We decided that just looking at the outside and exploring the surrounding area was enough for us. So, after getting our photos, we stopped at the food stalls near the castle for snacks. Before moving on to our next destination. Hi, cheers! <laughs> Unfortunately, the place we wanted to grab lunch was not open, but it gave us an opportunity to explore a new area and instead eat at a revolving sushi restaurant nearby. Osaka is known for its food culture, and Dotonbori is overflowing with places to experience this love of food. The area is packed with street food stalls, bars, restaurants, and souvenir shops. Dotonbori is one of the most colorful areas in Osaka. And a must visit if you're in the Kansai region.
The next day, we rode the Shinkansen out to Hiroshima for the day. I recommend buying your Shinkansen tickets at least a day in advance because it's a popular day trip from Osaka. Our first stop was Okinomimura, a multi story building filled with multiple restaurants serving okinomiyaki, a Hiroshima specialty. <laughs> okinomiyaki started as a popular pre war dish called Isen Yoshoku, or One Coin Western Food. It was originally eaten as a snack, but post war, People began layering in whatever ingredients they had available to make the dish more substantial. They did this so that it could fuel the people as they continued to rebuild their lives. <laughs> Okonomiyaki became a symbol of resilience and is sometimes referred to as Hiroshima's soul food. After filling our bellies with okonomiyaki, we head to the Peace Memorial Park. You'll find many monuments and symbols of peace all around the park. For example, you can see the only structure left standing in the area after the first attack, along with the Children's Peace Monument that was built to commemorate the children lost, and Sadako Sasaki, a girl exposed to radiation from the blast, but had a goal to create 1,000 paper cranes. So that she could wish for peace. The serene park and museums are places to reflect upon the past, but they are also meant to evoke a sense of hope for the future. The park was beautiful, especially with the falling sakura petals floating all around. The weather was perfect in Hiroshima, so instead of rushing around, we leisurely strolled around the different areas and parks before heading back to Osaka. Coffee break in Hiroshima. Little pick me up. Little pick me up. We started the day at a quaint little coffee shop that serves amazing coffee. The shop was located near Yasaka Namba Shrine, which was our first destination of the day. The main draw to the shrine is a large lion head shaped building. The lion's open mouth is said to swallow evil spirits and leave only good luck and success for your ventures. While here, we purchased a few omamori and omikuji from the shrine. We were on a mission to eat at the Toyo Izakaya for lunch, but due to its massive popularity, there was already a line even though we got there right when it opened. The wait was well worth it though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Too high. Yeah. Okay. Too high. Too high. 
Our drinks. The main us. instigator. Our last stop of the day was to the Umeda Sky Building, where you can get one of the best views of Osaka. I had so much fun exploring Osaka and Hiroshima. In the next episode, you'll come with our group to Kyoto and Nara. Until next time. Sun, Wait, let's take a video. <laughs> Bro.